Greetings and salutations. This is Imperator Vespasian and his trusty sidekick. Hello. I remembered you were here this time. Yeah, I did. I did. Yeah. Um, we are marveling at the amazing box art um, that we have with these figures. Uh, you can obviously tell what they are. Absolutely fantastic. Aren't yeah. They? Yeah. Mm. Anyway, they're dire wolves, and they're. I really, I, didn't, I can't see them. And they're the probably the last thing anyone will get by mail order from Games Workshop because they are completely out of stock of everything, um, due to. Um, the gift of Nurgle. Yeah. Um, but this is the last thing we're getting. Um, we are actually going to get a few more things, but, you know. Um, an interesting thing about this box, um, we got two sets of bases. I don't know if this is normal, but we've got a set of what I thought these were 40k bases, and these are Warhammer bases. You know, so you can put them in the Warhammer trays. Oh. Which is what we used to do when we used to do vampire counts. Um, but we've got enough bases for both. So these are going to be used for Space Marine bikes. <laughs> I mean, it works, doesn't it? Yeah, and these are going to be used... Well, I've got some stuff I got from eBay, which I didn't base properly. So I'm going to be able to swap the bases out now. So, And these we won't be using either because we use different basing. Um, we use um, those bases for the Dire Wolf. Oh, sorry, this is a Dire Wolf, by the way. This is it's already painted. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know to Side drive there, right? That's uh, sorry, right? Anyway, um, that's where that dire wolf came from. Sorry, I was really bored and we, we needed to do the videos, but I wanted to have a go at making one. So, if it's good that you've done that, so that means people can see the actual what the end product, yes, in the same video, yeah. So, these are the dire wolves, they are basically dead wolves, they're zombie wolves, um, and they are pretty good. Um, the rib cages are interesting, these are the rib cages here. And you get the rib cages and you stick them on the inside there of the model. And then when you put the model together, it has a rib cage, if you can see underneath the model, which is. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it is, isn't it? That's really good. You wouldn't be able to do that if you had it as one cast. So it's, it's interesting that they've done that. I, I like seeing things like that. Um, so that's the. The figures, they're pretty good and you get quite a few different, they appears to be different head variants. Mm. So you can have sort of head with flesh or head with sort of skull like that. And uh, That's my favourite. Yeah. Actually I like that one there because his, his flesh has been torn away under it's his the, eye. It's the other half of the head. Oh it's the, <laughs> oh, it's the same head, well, okay fine, whatever, who cares. So they're pretty good, they're pretty nice and decent. And decent figures and there we have it now we're not doing vampire counts we we keep saying that. yeah we keep having to say that because I know when we did some stuff for what was it what did we, what did we get it for World War Z was it was it when we got the zombies or something we got something that we were using for 40k and people were saying oh great you're going into Warhammer I was like no we're not we're going into this is actually for 40k. To be so. fair, I really like Warhammer. Yeah, I like Warhammer too. But I'm, at the moment, I'm quite enjoying... Um, um, 40k? For, no. Cthulhu. Um, Cthulhu, yeah. yeah Sorry, right. yeah, you got it right. I just assumed you must be wrong. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so this is what the guy looks like. And you can actually put it up against one of these chaps, um, which is from um, Oathmark. Yes. Is it Oathmark? Um, you put them up against Oathmark and they, they match in scale. So they're not bad. You'd get I mean, rid of it, wouldn't you? Yeah. I mean, the Oathmark stuff isn't as good quality as Games Workshop. It's more simple and I like it more simple. Yeah, it is simple. Um, whereas Games Workshop, they, they really they go do... all out. Yeah. Um, I think any model you get from Games Workshop nowadays... The detail. Has, has brilliant detail. Um, I'm currently doing Blood Angels up, Space Marine Chapter. And the detail on the armor and all the different, you know, the blood things on uh, the blood, blood gems and everything all over them, just absolutely covered from head to toe in detail. And it's actually a lot harder to paint than my Imperial Fist that yeah. I just painted yellow. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's, that's what the figures look like, and that's the figures. Sorry, there's no box art to show you. Um, I do, however, have the. 
do 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 I have to wait to find them. The other story is me when I have my massive death tank from for, for the uh, corn and I got this mailbox. Oh yeah, you've got that mailbox, um, and you were supposed to get the one with the nice picture on it to it's do an awesome it's unboxing a video. Model and you get that. Yeah, I know. It's because the, a lot of the if they don't have it immediately, sort of off the shelf, they just put it put it in one of these boxes. Um, and I think everything from now on, for the most part, is going to be yeah. in those. Um, trying to find stuff from Gears Workshop has been really hard. Um, we just got another box of zombies. Um, to play Cthulhu with, not not for the 5k stuff. Um, and, and that was the last box, so, you know. Um, so you see that's the Gears Workshop ones, and that's the Elthmart ones. So, you can obviously see the, the ones here in mm. a lot better detail. Um, but I'll just skip to the um, Dire Wolves. Where are the Dire Wolves? They will be in here somewhere. Do, 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 do. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get... yeah. I swear I saw a picture of dire wolves in this box book. I think you're lying. I wonder if dire wolves put no dire wolves are actually here in the in the rules. So they must be in the in the book. No, no they're not. Right, so that's the original dire wolf there, and that's what they look like now. Right, so change. it's actually a new, it's actually a new version. So it's not going to be in this book. Well, that was a waste, wasn't it? <laughs> I was going to show you something really cool, but no, obviously not. Um, so that's the dire wolf. That's what they end up like. So wasted a lot of my time there. Stretched the video out, out for no reason whatsoever. They could have just watched, watched the two minutes at the beginning and they've got the video. Yeah. So have you, got any, have you got any questions on dire wolves? No. 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 There's right. zombie wolves, aren't there? There's just zombie wolves, which we're going to be Run using around, for. Run around, eat things like normal dogs do. Just more fleshy stuff. I'm thinking about that. Zombies, right? Uh -huh. They have no control over things other than walking forwards and biting. Yeah. Therefore their bowels will be open all the time. Yes. So they will actually smell not of rotting flesh, but of poo. Yeah. That is disgusting. Yeah, it's probably worse than it. That's probably a lot worse. Yeah. I know, I often lose control of my bowels. This is why people survive build barricades. To stop and, them. And, and gas masks. Yeah. It's not actually to stop them from getting infections, just to clear the smell. Yeah, yeah. I can imagine it's pretty yeah. disgusting. If you have a hoard outside your the wall, there's a lot of, a lot um, of poo. In Max Brooks, Max Brooks's book, uh, World War Z, what the film is completely not based on. Um, the well, one scene of the film is in the book. Um, the, um, the, in that, um, there's a shouting monk, this blind monk, who is awesome at killing zombies because he's blind, his, his senses are a little bit better. So he sits in the woods and waits to hear the twigs crack of the zombies come in, and then he just swings at head height and decapitates the zombies. <laughs> So he's just really well. Um, but he points out that zombies don't actually smell of much because they don't sweat and they don't eat. So the breath doesn't actually change. Yes. So they they actually don't smell as much as you think they would. But the flesh would start to rot and, that, and then the scent would... I would guess the flesh would... Be, yeah, I mean, rotting flesh is pretty disgusting. Yeah. It depends how old the zombie is, doesn't it? Although in Walking Dead, the zombies seem to be able to last for some reason. They never die. We're on season 10 now. They haven't died yet. <laughs> you can put them in a hamster wheel and get them to power things. There's also a useful thing zombies well, that's have. What, that's what Finger Rejigger does. What's his name now? Negan. He get, put zombies as his defences. And if the zombies, that's a great if the zombies see that they've been stuck onto spikes and stuff, the zombies are like... Eh, no, no. Really? No, it's actually just to humans. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. so if he's put armor on the zombies, so the humans go, zombies, armored, can't kill them now. Leave that alone. <laughs> huh. Um, the um, it's not World War Z. It's which is the one where they run, but they're not actually zombies. Um, 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 twenty weeks later. Twenty weeks later. Twenty weeks later. Twenty weeks later. Um, in that, they're not actually dead, so it kind of explains why they last so long. 
It's a virus. Because they're not actually dying. Um, That's your life still. It's just a virus. And I, the I think the slain and virus in the World War Z book, I think that actually slightly preserves the body. Because doesn't it change the Well, what I'm blood? thinking, because it's a virus, yeah, the virus goes away after a long time. So people with rage virus, if you didn't get shot, wouldn't they just go back to humans again? Not Unless it degenerates your body so much that you just don't make it in the long run. Fair enough. I mean, is the cure? Could, could you? You could. It's a virus, so theoretically, you could cure it. Cure it. No, hang on. You can't cure a virus. You can only vaccinate, vaccinate a against a virus. Which is, if you already got it, you're screwed. Yeah. So in that case, no. No vi- viruses. Oh, sorry, sorry. There appears to be a virus around now that the government keep talking about curing. <laughs> yeah, you can't cure a virus, you idiots. Sorry, I just, why do we? Who elected these people? You. Who el- no no? Who allowed these people to stand for office? You. Why don't they? Why don't you have to pass an exam? Pass an exam. <laughs> yeah, if you're going to stand for office, you have to pass a general knowledge quiz. Or a something. general knowledge quiz. We can pass a general knowledge quiz. We do pretty well. No, seriously, they're like just really basic questions like what does a human need? Uh, food and, and water. Um, and politicians, I reckon, they think humans need a mobile money. phone and yeah, money. money. Yeah, um, but in basic stuff. Because why are they so stupid? Just weird. They're so stupid. You, know, you listen to them speaking on the telly. You put telly on, and there's politicians there, and everything he says, or she says, this equal representation, or, she, or they, or whatever, and they stand there and just come out with absolute horse manure, and you just sat there going, you're either lying, or you're stupid. Lying. <laughs> Most of the time. No, I actually think they believe it. When they come out with this stuff, I think they actually believe the junk they say, especially Labour, when you hear them speaking. God. I have this video. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe. And comment down below what you think of Dire Wolves. And uh, make sure you press the bell icon. That's and I'm going to go and lay down in a darkened room. Yeah, that's everything from me. And that's everything from him. Goodbye. See ya.